How is everybody today? It's going to be cool. I know it's going to be a hot one today. It is. They said it's going to be feel like up in the upper 90s today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sticky. Yeah, it's like you walk outside and you get wet. Yeah. It's so horrible. It pretty much is. Yeah. So, yeah, Anne's so away. Anne's away. Yeah, we don't have our head. No, we don't. I was <laughs> so sad about that. Too. I know. I, really I know. I thought we were going to be like that together. holding our head on a stick in between us. <laughs> Like on our shoulders, <laughs> she kind of peeping there. out. Yeah, exactly. That'd be funny. My God, I, I wish that would have happened. I know. Well, you know, we can't do everything. No, but we try. We try. Yeah. So, anyways, we're yep. the Yarn Shop Girls. I'm yep. Gail. Marissa, and Anne's the other one, but she's on vacation. Um, thanks to all the pe new people who have subscribed. We're over 700 now. Yay! Yay. I think s last time I looked, it was like 724, something like wow. that. Wow. And um, we've had some new people join the Ravelry group. And um, so if you want to see what's going on, um, you can join us up there. Uh, I think that's it. Two, it's been two weeks already. My gosh. I know. I don't even know what's happened in two weeks. I don't either. It's just crazy time. It is I a know. totally I'm just crazy gonna... time. There you go. The light. The light. I, I look like I'm my... a giant head right now on here and, and I look like a pinhead <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way we're sitting I know I'm, I'm kind of lounged out feet I up know. <laughs> laying back on the chair oh yeah yeah, yeah. anyways anyways so I'm, I have to say I'm getting yep. excited about our knit along we're gonna do I know we're gonna do a knit along we it are. is gonna be so fun it is we're getting together now with Janelle mm -hmm. actually we already got together with her last week yep and can you tell was me that last was that last week yeah. Yeah, it was last Saturday. Yeah. Wow. Can Time we, flies. Can we talk well, a we can, bit about it? Um, How about just about the, the names of the colorways? Well, they're going to be our names. Yeah. So <laughs> we're going to have four colorways yep. to do this knit along. One's yep. going to be Gail. One's going to be Marissa. Marissa. One's going to be Anne. And one's going to be Janelle. Isn't that fun? I oh know. my gosh, I'm so excited. I know, me too. So we're gonna have kids up next time. I'm sure because I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, You're gonna get on the stick. Get with on Janelle. the stick with Janelle today. But, Hi, Janelle. Um, Janelle, you know I love you, <laughs> even though I'm a PIA. Yes. Um, and she'll agree to that. Yes, she will. Yeah. But, she will. But I love her. Yeah. So um, yeah. So hopefully we'll have a, a viewing of the colorways, and you guys yep. can um, pre-order them. And then we'll have them shipped out to you. So, so stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Doesn't it's matter where exciting. you are. We'll ship them anywhere. I'm very excited to do it. We're going to post prizes along the way on a little yep. thread that we'll have. Mm -hmm. So it should be a really fun thing. I'm so looking forward to I it. Know, you're very excited about I it. I am. I love giving prizes away, I know. too. I know. It's like, it's so fun for me. I know. Yeah. 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 So that's been going on. We did have a... Um, well, we'll do it in shop update. We, when Janelle came in and we were talking about this knit along, she brought in, was that the day she brought in yarn? Yes. Yeah, she brought in yarn. She fixed our wall. I came in today. I was like, um, where's all the yarn? Where's the yarn? Yeah. <laughs> I guess people bought it, which is a good thing. Yes. Gail Lilligreen. Did you see the picture she posted? Yes. 48 skeins before she came here. Now, Janelle brought all the yarn on Saturday. Gail came in and helped to rape our wall she took six skeins yeah, yeah she can't help herself and it, she just likes to look at it i know well yeah. i and i said look i cannot i no counted, judgment no look i counted mine i had 80 and that was i'll have to i'll put it i'll upstairs. put that picture oh, up. you will yeah yeah because i have it gail sent me a picture because yeah. i said to her the other day i'm like oh send me the picture and it wasn't <laughs> i kid you not that was only that i would i have stored I sound like a hoarder, but I have it stored in these, like, really lovely things in my bedroom. And that's not even saying what I have in my cedar closet. I really have an issue. You do. Yeah. You do. I don't know why. And it's, I have, like, all kinds of yarn, <coughs> but my biggest stash is sock yarn. Yeah. yeah I would say lace. that's, yeah, I would say that, I, well, I don't really I have much radiance. lace, but oh. I, my, most of mine is um, sock yarn. Yeah. Um, but I did start a project that I went down into my stash for. Doesn't that feel good when you do that? It did, because the last time we podcasted, I had finished my um, For Your Fave. And I was 
just glad to be done with that. And so then I was like, you know, I really wanted to do another shawl, but I, I didn't want to, I knew I had, you know, obviously I had yarn. A lot of it though was like s striping. So I didn't want to, you know, use that right, in, a shawl. in a shawl. And so, and I have two skeins. I'll show you. I have two. I don't even know what you're making. I don't see Marissa much now no. in the summer. It's so sad. I know. So I have oh. two skeins of Jagger lace. spun. Yeah, this is oh. lace. Okay, so these are my two skeins. This is indigo, and this is pewter, and this is the Jagger Spun Zephyr. Which so is it's my wool, wool, fifty wool, fifty silk, and so a l I got this a while ago. We were in the other. We were in the other space when I got this yarn, because one of the um, the yarn rep that. Um, Oh. Reps this yarn came in and she had um, this shawl and it was called Woven and it was um, linen. It was, oh God. Stunning. So beautiful. Andrea, and it that was, was um, uh, Andra. Yep. That was fantastic. And it was uh, like a linen stitch. And so I had tried it a while ago and I, I just, I couldn't get it. It was too tricky with the lace weight. And so I had put it away, and I haven't really been able to find anything that I've wanted to use this yarn for. And so one day I was home, and I was like, you know what? I, I loved that shawl. It was so pretty. So I said, I'm going to try that pattern again. I, I couldn't do it. it the, 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 the lace weight yarn was just so thin, and, and you're putting it in front, and you're putting it behind, and you're doing two colors, and it just looked like a holy what mess. What was the name of that pattern? Woven. Oh, Woven, that's right. It's called Woven. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and so I pulled it out, and so I was like, you know what? I've given it a try. Twice. It's just not twice. Uh, it's not for me. I couldn't, I just, I couldn't do it. So um, I went and looked, and I found this pattern. I'll show you. It's you probably sure. seen. Oh, thanks. It's called White Out. Oh, I love that pattern. And it's. Uh, let's is see, that a Melanie? Here. It. Oh, this is a this is a small pick of it, but you get the gist of it. Here, I'll hold it so. Oh, so pretty. So it's by Melanie Berg, mm. and you use two skeins of lace weight yarn. And so the first part is um, oh. striping. Look at this. Oh, Marissa. You, this, oh, did you feel it? I do a lot of shawls. I love lace shawls. Yep. My absolute, now I've used lots of different lace from all over. Yep. Zephyr wool is my absolute favorite. Marissa, you it's can a, take that and when you're done with it, you can fold it up in a ball and throw yep. it in your suitcase. When you yep. get to wherever you're going, you take it out. It looks exactly like that. I am gonna get so much wear yes. out of this yes. because these are my these are my color. I like I like, it's like a denim and and cream. Oh, it's and the the drape is fantastic. Oh. It's very warm, but it's very light. It's very light. Um, I cannot I cannot wait. It doesn't pill. I feel like nope. I'm doing an infomercial. For I know. Wool, but I it's know. That good. It really is. And so you just need. Um, you know, one skein of. Now, what will the lace color be in? The cream. The cream. Yeah, it's, well, it's, pu it's pewter. It's more of like a grayish. Yeah, it's cream. a grayish cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that that's will be the lace stunning. part. That's stunning. So I this made me very happy, and I wasn't really happy with like my knitting, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, and. That's right. You were in a funk last time. I was time. kind of in a funk, and so then I watched the, um, I watched the. Um, Cozy up with the Stitchin' Sisters, and uh, they're a ton of fun. So, yeah. So oh, that's, that's good. I've been doing that. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. What have you been doing? Well, what do you got on the needles? I have because I had to. I'm going to Rhinebeck, so I hope that a lot of you guys are going yeah. to Rhinebeck. Marissa's not coming no. because she's going to Parent Weekend. Mm -hmm. 
so we're going to miss her. But Ann and I will be there. Yep. And I think I'm going to get a little thing that says, like, the yarn shop girls. What kind of thing? I don't know. (laughs) Maybe I'll have you embroider something on my shirt. Me? (laughs) (laughs) What is that, my punishment for not going? (laughs) Why why, why me? Isn't that funny? I don't know. Why not? No. I heard that... um, the grocery girls are going, so I can't wait to meet up. What are you with gonna them. be like, like Laverne and Shirley? Yes. You know, are you gonna have like oh, the big, that'd like, be the so G? freaking fun. A G and an A. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. And yeah. then we'll just and we'll take your freaking like, picture. It's like yes. we'll get your head on a stick. Well, not your head, head, but a picture yep. of you. Yep. Wouldn't that be cute? It would be. So, anyway, so I decided. One that of I these days, somebody's head is gonna be on <laughs> the <this> stick. <laughs> kind of like Game of Thrones. Oh, I don't know. I don't watch it. Oh my gosh. I don't want really good. I don't watch it. Yeah. So I want to make this at Stone Point. Oh, yeah. Gray. Ann made one. Yep. And I wanted to make one. Marissa, you know, I started this last night when I got home from work. And I, yeah, it's so easy. But I have to tell you, the yarn is amazing. What's it, Luma or something? Luma. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. There's linen and silk and wool and. Um, yeah, it's their replacement for Savannah. It, I can't. I like it a lot better than Savannah. I do too. I well, Savannah had that silk slub, slub in it, right? I, I, I love soy. this so, so, so much. Oh yeah, everybody loves it. And yeah, I think mm-hmm. this has to be at least, I don't know, upwards of ten people in here making it right mm-hmm. now. So I figured I would wear this to Rhinebeck. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah, because it's not too hot. Just right. open on the sides. And then if it's cold, then I can wear something else. But yeah. this is very, very fun. And I'm going to make mine longer. So yeah. I Well, Ann did that too. Yeah. Did that too. Are you going to make I it longer than, than the one she I did? I thought about it. If I have enough yarn, I'm going to. Just one more repeat. Mm-hmm. I, ha- I don't like if my bum's out because it gets cold. So I like to cover my butt. Because you know when, you, when you're like a little kid and the wind goes up your jacket down yep. your shirt? I hate that. That's chilly. Well, about when we were there a few years ago, it was really warm. I know. I went once. I was with uh, my Aunt Lucy, and we were freezing. I had on a scarf. You'd go outside, your nose would run. Yeah. Then I went again, and it was so bloody hot. Yeah, that, that was, was that the year yes. that you went? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was a fun trip. It was fun, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. See, we have fun when we're all together. Yeah. It's way, way, way fun. I know. Rhinebeck's got to move their dates. Yes. So I can go. Yeah. Because we should probably go. I, I think we could. There's yeah. got to be a suggestion box. I know. Don't have it sort. for parents weekend. Right. That's wrong. I then know. what else am I doing? I'm doing a couple of pairs of so- Well, actually, there's one at home, and I forgot to bring it. And it was a Janelle Socktober colorway. And mm-hmm. it, it has like a rainbow skinny stripes and then mm-hmm. a big stripe of dark purple. And then the skinny stripes, and then a big stripe of dark purple. Oh, interesting. Oh, my gosh. Pretty. But these are with her little minis. Oh, yeah. So you can hold that up there. Those are the little tiny minis, and I really like them. And um, I'm going to do sock matician because I'm hooked so, on that now. So how far? This is my first little mini, and I'm almost at the heel. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I put mine in my blanket. Yeah, and then this one here is another one I started of Janelle's. I don't remember the name of this one. Hang on, I'll tell you. You can take that out, friend. Burnished. No. Yeah. 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 And that's kind of pretty, right? Yeah, it's like very. It's very fall. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I just love it. It's really pretty. Yeah, that's a fun. That's one. very you. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. What are the chances I'd like something with orange? I know. Oh, and what else? Well, I also have something. I do have more whips. I do have a whip. Oh, let's see. It's very tiny. When I say tiny, I mean really super tiny. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, take out your magnifying glasses. (laughs) Ready? (laughs) She worked on this for a couple of days. Yep. I I think a week. Oops. Sorry, guys. There it is. It's the beginning of a sock. <laughs> I love that oh yarn. Oh my god! I forgot it was so tiny. So this is the um, Allegro 
Um, your, your boys like it, right? Yeah, this one's this is from Matthew. This colorway is called um, Night Waltz, and it's like um, different blues and uh, like a khaki color. Um, I think somebody had a dentist appointment, and so I brought this with me. Toe up. They Sock must magician. have had a good appointment because you didn't get much done. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that was, I was with Emma. Yeah. She was quick. Yeah. Matthew, not so much. Got to go back to the dentist Monday for a cavity. Yeah. yeah. But he's 16 and a half, and it's only his second wow. cavity. And the first one was real tiny. Wow. Well, my kids were preemies, my twins. Mm -hmm. And I recently read something saying that preemies can have, um, like, soft teeth. Okay. And my kids have um, dry, they get, it's called dry mouth, so they don't make a lot of saliva to mm -hmm. protect their teeth. My twins have had, I want to say, 11 cavities apiece. Oh. Yes. And and what they don't eat junk. They're vegan. Right. They don't eat sweets. One's yeah, as big as a minute. It's just what happens. So they they go to the dentist yeah. a lot, and they always have like this dry mouth stuff. And but so it's been about a year now with nothing. So I'm so happy. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. that's over. I don't know if they have any teeth left. Well, yeah, Emma, she doesn't. She doesn't have any. She has my teeth. I don't. I don't have any cavities. That's but, Adriana. But, but Bob, he does. Yeah. So, so maybe I'll get some more work done on it on Monday. I, I just when I'm sitting at the dentist's office with him. <laughs> That's right. It'll be a longer appointment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the only knitting things that I have as a whip. Mm, me too. I, I have some at home, but yeah. yeah. No, I don't even have any at home. I do have a crochet whip though. All right. Let's see what we got. Look at you. All right. Everybody should be pretty impressed. I know, right? Look, my granny squares. Look how I love Attic Twenty Four. If anybody, if you guys haven't I checked have her out yet, go check her out, Lucy. Look at that. So, okay, so Anne, she's doing this same blanket, and this is the Harmony blanket by Attic Twenty Four. And so what she, Anne did was that she did all the of the centers of all of them, and then did all the second colors of all of them, and then she's gonna do all the third, the fourth, the fifth. I did, this is um, block A of mine, and so I did all the centers of A, and then went and did all the other colors. Oh, that's cool. So I'm trying it that way. I don't know. So this is another one that I was doing while I was waiting for Gail. Yes. I don't, I don't mind doing them. They're really quick, and they seem to go a lot faster when you're it do it kind of like assembly line, but my blocks are still big. Well, your blanket will be a little bigger. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? It's I know. I just point. I guess. Yeah. That's what I, I kind of figured. It. So um, yeah. So once I get once I finish doing this last um, purple color, the lavender, I will have all a block all of block A done. That's a, that's a great way to do it though. So. I mean, I saw Anne's little basket with all her pieces right, and piece right, work, and she right. thinks it's way quicker because you do all of one, tie in all the ends, do the right. next color, tie in all the ends. Right. So at the end of the blanket, you're not left with oh dear God, you know. Well, that's what that's what I've been doing with these. Like I when yeah. I when I've done each one, all I've, the ends are uh, all in. the all the ends are tucked in. Yeah. So I just have one more color to go around, and then and so then I'll move on to block B and I'll do the same thing and for me that seems to go faster. And using the deluxe DK? The deluxe DK. I love that yarn. Machine washable. Yep. Every, the colors are fantastic. Yep. Yeah I really like her. Yeah. I like her stuff. She's, she's so very. So a crochet whip All right, for so me. I don't have, I started this. I don't have it with me but I'm going to tell you gals about it for you mm -hmm. crocheters. It's by Little Monkey Crochets. Mm -hmm. Her name is Rebecca I believe. Mm -hmm. And she just came out with a beach bag pattern. Oh, really? That it has grommets in it. Okay. And she has a link to where you can get the grommets. I want to say it's like it's Amazon, but I want to say they're like $11. And she said okay. all you need is a hammer and this grommet set. And then I actually went to the craft store and picked up the ropes that I'm going to use to tie in. I ho If I can get my head around what I'm doing, I'll have it the next time we podcast. 
but have a look at it. Little monkey crochets in it's her beach bag. It's a rope bag. for the handles. Yeah, I have. A, I actually have a picture of it. I can show you, because you have to do this. Everybody that likes to crochet, Gail says you have to do it. I'll, I just I'll show it to you. Truly, it's the nicest beach bag, and she says the really nice thing about it is is that the um. The weight won't be an issue because of the grommets. Look at how flipping cute that is. It's just cotton yarn. That is very cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, so the so the grommets hold those yes. knots in. It holds the handle so that yep. it takes the stress off of the mm -hmm. off of the crochet. So your bag won't get how distorted. Tight, how tight do you have to crochet that top? Um, you're using. I'd never be able to do it. I'd use one of those teeny tiny hooks. <laughs> <laughs> to get it tight enough. I know an e hook <laughs> on a worsted weight, so it's oh, tight. Oh, I'd be on an I'd be on yeah, an you'd a. Be on, you would be on a little metal tiny hook for like um for thread. thread. Yeah, you'd be on a thread mm -hmm. one. And I also forgot it, but I will bring it next time. Alaria made a crocheted dinosaur. Oh, cute! For one of our um, friends' babies. Oh my gosh, it's like this big, and it is so so cute. I can't. I don't even know where the pattern is, but I had it to bring and I forgot it. I forgot a lot of stuff today, I but I remembered me. I was late, well, but I did remember me. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, all right. I so have a finished project. Oh, yeah. Let's see your finished project. All right. So this now, is pretty. <clears throat> this is very pretty. However, keep in mind, I did not tuck, I took it off the needles yesterday. It's not blocked, and I have to put tassels on it. So when it's done, 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 I will bring it back with me. But. Okay. So this is from. This book, if you haven't gotten this book, it's, there's not a bad one in there. Malabrigo has it with their Rios, and uh, we have um, their un, their new book. Um, they've really up to their game. Up, man. They really have. Is it like the yes. first one? I love that sweater. There it is. Yep. This is called Lehigh. Yep. Okay, Lehigh. So this is kind of what it looks like. So you have these little fan things in it. It's a U, it's a hundred and four wingspan with a twenty inch depth at the center, and then you put um, tassels on on each of the end of the wingspan. But when you do these little fan things, where is it? Right there. When you do that, all you're doing is using a crochet hook. Go three rows below, grab up the yarn and knit the next stitch. Grab another thing of yarn. It's uber uber easy. And fun, but it's huge. I mean, it's a big shawl. 104. I had a, look, I had a different stain of yarn. It, well, because, you know, it's all hand dyed. Oh, up top? Yeah. But I don't, oh, yeah. I don't mind it. Do you? No. I don't I d I, Honestly, I didn't know until it I, yeah. until you said something. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, so they. Um, and it took me one week to do it. You used four um, hanks of the main color the gray Mine and was then plomo plomo yep and then two of i used arco iris yep. and that's that's the sample that they did and that is a picture that's what i'll look like it. when it's all done look and there's the tassels. the tassels i love that i would not put tassels on i'm gonna put tassels i know you would put tassels on it but um this book is it's this one look is, at, is how about really that sweat, the one with the lace on the sweater you have to show them that that oh I one. love that sweater you too can have this and be like me I'm gonna have to make it that isn't one. that pretty silicon alley oh I love it yeah so uh, look at the hat how cute Anne loves that sweater this one with yeah the cable she loves down. it with the cable down the arms oops right along Mm, so pretty, so pretty. See the cables? Oh, and that's more fitted. I mean, that's a nice yep. fitted sweater. It nips yep. in at the waist a bit. Yep. So this one is the Book 10 Rios. And um, they're $20. But they also came out with a new one. that They've got some really pretty stuff. And it's their Anniversario um, book. Colorway. That's the name of a color. Yeah, it must be like an anniversary yeah. for them or something. Yeah. This I love. Look how flipping cute that is. It's hard, I know, because everything's backwards. <laughs> there we go. A brick stitch slouchy hat. Yep, called Bedford. And that's done out of 
um, Malabrigo sock, but you could use any sock. Oh, that's pretty cool. And Just then a this one. one. Stainer. Oh, pretty. Yep. Minetta. And that's um, two skeins oh, of sock yarn. Yep. Um, There's so many good patterns. Yeah, there was one in here. Oh, this, th this one. Oh, how cute, my God. Look at how cute that is. Cherry texture. And that's out of um, Rios. I really? would do that. Yep, one skein of Rios. Oh, you should do a store sample. Okay, I will. Yeah, that Why would be Why don't I great. do that? Yeah. She'll have that next time. I will. Yeah, I'll, do it. I'll take it home today yeah. and do it. Yeah. So, um, you know, we can't, we really, we have a hard time keeping these books yes. in. This is because our fourth order, I believe. Yep. It co they come in, they go out. Yep. So, well, you, you had wanted that as soon as you saw it. I, I was in like, that I'm book. making that. Yep. You had really. Yeah. And you did it. I. You had a goal, I Gail, did. and you did it. I did, and I did mm -hmm. it in a week. I did it fast, don't you think? You did do that. Because I that's a big knit. It is. There was 420 stitches across by the oh. time I got to the last part of it. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I was determined. That's a lot. Yeah. But we have a lot for customer corner. We do have a lot for customer. Want to do that first? Let's do that first. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start over here. Um, so Gail's mom knit this up. She's a very good knitter. My yep. mother at 80 years Flo. old. God love her. I haven't seen Flo in a while. I'll yeah. Tell her I said hi. I will. Look at this cute little bamboo pop. Yep, the bamboo pop. Machine washable. And this has been, if you follow um, Universal on Facebook, they have had this up quite often. It's their it's their baby cardi pattern. Um, you it's can just a free go pattern. to yep, it's a free pattern. You can go on the Universal website, and if you um, go under um, bamboo pop, there'll be a, um, a little um, space that you can click for patterns, and this will come up. Isn't it cute? And like a little five buttons on it. She did a good job. Yep. Thanks, Flo, for that. Yeah, really cute. Yep. And then uh, Meg. Meg Carroll, we love you. Yep. She used her stash of Mrs. Babs. Yep. She used yep. She used stash yarn, and she completed the free or fade, but she used Doesn't DK. It feel nice. This oh. is DK. So it's a little bigger, but it's fantastic. Yep. Really this really is very pretty. Meg, though. Oh my God, yeah. She did a great she'll job, be, and she she'll really be wearing did the heck that out fast. of this. She really did. I thought she, honestly, I thought she was going to be done before me. Maybe she was. I don't know, but um, <laughs> I bet she'll wear the heck out of this this winter. Yeah, I bet so too. Nice job, it, Meg. It's yeah. really pretty. It I love the colors. And I love the feel of it. Oh my gosh. I know. It's so so beautiful. And you know she had a lot of that stashed. Oh my gosh! At home, yeah. Meg has a problem like me. Yep. So then our friend Laura Angel came in. And she had yep. some stuff for us. So we have a woven piece done out of meadow, and it's a oh. little herringbone. Is that fantastic? I wish you could feel this. I know we need feel a vision. Yeah, because it's amazing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then that she twisted the fringe on the end. Oh, it's stunning. Oh, so beautiful. It's so light. Yeah, she did it Soft. on the radio pedal. Yep. And um, her it, ends are perfect. Laura, perfect. It's perfect. It is. It's perfect. She loves to hear that. Yes, yeah, she does. But it is. It it's is. It's very, it is. very beautiful. Yep. I Thanks love it. Thanks for sharing. Yep. And then she made another thing. Mentalot is the name of the pattern, and it's from um, um, Manos. Manos. Yeah, we. I think we've shown one of these before. Yeah, I think the one, mine. Yep. But look at this colorway. Oh, inside out. Uh, once again, a Laura Angel perfect knit. Yep. She really is a very neat, neat knitter. And if there's a mistake, she would take it apart no matter if it were the first stitch. And yep. she had finished this thing. It's just so stunning. So pretty. Stunning. It's so soft. I can't wait to wear mine again. Yeah, I know. You're, you're not going to put it on today? No. Oh. No. It's 90 degrees <laughs> out. But I would think if, if I stay in here long enough, I might. Well, that's true. 
Sometimes it gets really there. cold. Then she did the zigzag. Oh, out of now this Kalori. was a big. This was a. This was a huge knit. Yeah. Oh. I want I, one so bad, but I won't make it. No, I got the yarn for it. You did. I never. Yeah. Did. No, I don't have the yarn anymore for it. Yeah. But this is stunning. Like, just look at all the colors. This was a. This is a. This. this is a free pattern. On um, Ravelry. I mean, it looks everybody like everybody was doing. Yeah, right. everyone was doing the zigzag scarf. We had so many people. We ordered this yarn. I don't know how many times. Oh my god, it's so freaking gorgeous. Oh. And it's really only like a one row. Yes, yes, but it's knit. Just takes but it forever. just ever. It really does. But Six you know what? Six of yarn in well, that, I but give you get you, such a prize at the end. I give you such credit right. for sticking with it. For right. anybody that's done this, I give you a lot. I know my. I think my mom made one. Um, your mom made yep. one. My mother did the four skeiner. Laura yep. put six in that. Yep. And if I were to ever Ooh. break down and do it, I would do a six because I love the length of that. Yeah. Then this is one of my favorites. This looks like velvet to me. I know it. This is her. We had a, when we did a um, brioche class, um, we did the cowl. So that is like a dark purple. Yeah, you can see it on the, on the inside. It's sort of like a mar it's sort yeah. of like maroon. Like a brick. No, it's not brick. Was this um it's um dream, dream color? Yes, classy from cashmere. Yep. It's classy, right? So does uh classy have cashmere? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Isn't that stunning? And oh. that was that was her first time doing it. Yeah. And she she did she took the class. Oh my god. And, um, she well, finished it. Color better if you put it up close cuz this is, look at that. Oh, my God. I freaking love it. It's so beautiful. I know. So, so thanks, beautiful. Laura, for sharing <clears throat> all of your, it must feel good to get all that stuff. My God, yes. And then her best girl pal did the Aeolian, and this is one of my favorite, favorite it shawls. It really is. And she did it in um, Jag Zephyr, Jagger Z Zephyr. Zephyr. Zephyr wool. For the wedding, right? For her girlfriend's daughter's wedding. Her girlfriend died and her daughter um, is trying to plan a wedding alone and do all of that. So Cheryl made this for her. And I'm going to kind of hold it up so you can see the bottom here. And it's beaded. And there's over 2,000 beads on this. I don't know if you guys can see them up close. But look at this bottom part too. Isn't it stunning? Oh my gosh. You were doing a knit along at one point for this. Oh. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. But there were, Laura also made one of these. Yes, she did. And she gave it away also. Yep. When you give something like this away, you really like the person you give oh. it to. Because this is months and months of work. And especially, especially all with the, the beads. beading. Oh yeah, because that's done. I mean, this is Cheryl, with this the is, crochet hook. This is just. <laughs> Isn't it? It's an heirloom. It's stunning. Stunning. So did the wedding already happen? No. Oh. No. Nope. Oh. Yikes. It's in like um, three weeks or something. Oh, God. Something I feel like, like weird touching it. I know, right? But, <laughs> but it is just lovely. Yeah. So those are all mm. of our... Um, we had a lot of stuff, don't you think? Yeah, a lot of... Yeah, we did. We had a lot of knitting and, and stuff this time. I do want to show you a few of the things. We do have some things that... Um, Left from our Janelle Ray. Yep. And so she um, d had some s um, self striping. So she she did up some of the Gilmore Girls colorway. So this one is um, Rory. So pretty. And um, the self the self striping are thirty three. And then this one is Lorelei. I did this one. So pretty. That one was really pretty. And then this one is Jess. And what did you I say, Gail? You're like, oh, yes. I love that. I, she's like, oh, I love this one. I was like, don't buy any yarn. Yeah, and then Gail went, went home. home. Gail had this. I have it. <coughs> yep, I have it. So those are um, the Gilmore Girls. And then she, uh, we've had this one before Botanical too, Garden. but this one is so pretty, Botanical Garden. Mm. With Stunning. some grays and pinks and greens. Stunning. And this one is really pretty too. I'm surprised this one is I still found on that the in my stash. 
I'm surprised. Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised this one's still on the wall. Me frankly. too. Me too. Frankly, this one is bow ties are cool. But yeah, look at the blue beautiful. that's in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How is this still on the wall, people? I know it's beautiful. And Tokyo Underground. Yeah, I, I have this love one this. too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I I actually did make a pair of socks out of this one. This is Tokyo Underground. So pretty. Oh. And I think her inspiration for this was the subway Tokyo subway map. Subway map. She showed yep. me a picture of it. It looks yep. just like that. Yep. Yep. Crazy, crazy. This crazy. one, there's. This is the only one yeah. we have left of this. Oh my god, it is stunning. It's so pretty. It makes a great pair of socks. Yeah. So um, those are some of the things we have. We still we have a few variegated colorways for her um, that are left. Not many. Mm -hmm. um, wool and boom should be coming. We keep saying it I should know. be coming, keep, but oh my gosh, I wish she'd hurry. I'm getting so anxious. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I don't. So you know, stay tuned. Look on um, I'll, um, on my Instagram account, Shindy Four. Um, on Instagram, I'll post something, and we, um, the shop has a Facebook page, Love to Knit, and um, so we post a lot of things on that, um, and uh, you can find out information about classes on our website, Love to Knit Ri dot com. Subscribe I usually, to the newsletter. Yeah, subscribe to the newsletter so you can see, you know, what we have coming up. And Somebody uh, called the other day yeah. asking for a crochet class, so I figured as soon as Ann gets back, we'll do yeah, a beginner some crochet. Yeah, some Summer's, summer's tricky because we're also going to be closed a week. Right. The first full week in August. Yep. The 4th, 5th, so like 7th, a week of the 7th, I think it is. Because my anniversary is a Friday, the 4th. And then, so then we'll close the week after that, I think. Because yeah. that will be the first full week. Yeah. This is just, it's crazy time in the summer with vacations. It is. And, it is. and people on vacation. So that's, you yep. know. Yep. It's hard to have classes, but we'll yep. do what we can. And then, you know, in the fall, things will really oh, uh, pick ramp up. Again. Yep, ramp, ramp up. up. Yep. So uh, this is short but sweet. And um, But we're even though um, Anne's been on vacation and um, the way our podcast thing works out, we'll get one more in before the store goes on vacation. Yes. And then when we come back, Hopefully we'll have more yes. um, info on our knit along, but yes. stay tuned for that. Oh, Get I'm excited! So excited about that! I know. Oh my gosh, it's gonna Gil's be. Gil's gonna so call Janelle. So Janelle, Janelle, your phone should have exactly. already rung it's by now. Start buzzing <laughs> off in a second. Oh well. All right. Anyways, well, have a and, great couple of weeks. Yep. Stay cool if you're in an area where it's. Uh, and we miss hot. you, Ann. Yep. We'll miss see you, you in a couple weeks. Have All a right, great day. Bye, bye, guys.